Hi everyone, I'm Thomas, the Production Manager and Director of Digital Dentistry at Edelweiss. In this case, we construct veneers from 1.5 to 2.5. We select the corresponding tooth and choose veneer. For the Edelweiss CAD CAM block, we enter hybrid as material and have the option of reducing the minimum thickness to 0.4 mm. If your program allows it, 0.3 mm is also possible. You can also specify Trilux Forte from Vita as the material if you are using an Edelweiss block. It's only important to specify the correct block size later in the selection in the milling program. For hybrid, size M. For Trilux, size T14. Then we start the scan process. First, let's start by determining the preparation limit. Since we adjust the veneers on unprepared teeth in this case, it is not recommended to use the automatic edge detection. I determine the course along the gum line and go slightly over the edge in the area of the incisal edge. I do the same with the other teeth to be treated. After I have determined the limit, I set the respective insertion direction and try to avoid undercuts. As a cement gap, I choose 0.05 mm to ensure enough space for bonding with composite. I reduce the area around the edge from 1 mm to 0.5 mm. For the perfect finish, it is advisable to pay attention to a level of 1 mm during the preparation. But even with leaking edges, like in this example, we achieve very good results with our Edelweiss block. Next, I position the anatomy and use the advantage of being able to work with low material thickness. After fixing the position, I make atomical changes if necessary with the available tooth. Adjust approximate and oclusal contacts and move the finished construction to the machine software for positioning in the Edelweiss block. A great simplification of the Edelweiss block is the possibility to machine it with a wide variety of milling programs. Whether they are used as material hybrid, Trilux Forte or Enemic by Vita, they achieve perfect results. In the case of hybrid, they pay attention to the right size when choosing. As you can see, we choose the size M with the dimension 40 to 80 to 12 mm, which corresponds to our T14 block. For the other materials, choose size 14 or TF14. If possible, position your construction close to the edge of the block to shorten the milling time.
A diameter of 3 mm is sufficient for the connector. In the setting, depending on the machine, I choose the variant HD to achieve perfect results. When milling composite blocks, it is always important to work with wet machining. As a cutter, I use diamond coated ones in diameter from 2 to 0.4 mm. A big advantage when milling the Edelweiss block is the low contamination of the milling cutters. Other composites very quickly glue the surface of the diamond cutters during removal and quickly deteriorate the result. Compared to other composite blocks, they can use the cutter up to three times longer, which means a significant cost saving. Decisive for me as a technician is the uncomplicated and simply polishability of the Edelweiss block. With other composite blocks available on the market, in order to achieve a perfect gloss, you lose the surface very quickly and the time spent on the construction has to achieve perfect contacts was free. I don't know of any other blocks that can be finalized with soft brushes made of goat hair and cotton to lasting shine.